Good evening, friends. Uh, the prices are moving passively. Uh, so we have uh, informed you in the morning that it is like uh, uh, moving within the band of 2380 and 2355. And uh, we have uh, uh, we have been moving in that particular band only. We have not uh, found any uh, breakout on the either side. So if you were to look at it, the volumes are also very uh, bleak. Uh, nothing uh, great in terms of the volume. So we'll check uh, the... Uh, the volumes you can see that it is almost like flat. Uh, the 1,400 contracts were open in the morning on the long side, and uh, that 1,400 uh, contracts were sold off in the next uh, four hours. So basically, like uh, if you were to look at it, uh, net net the volumes are very uh, bleak, and uh, we are still waiting for uh, either side to be broken out. Uh, hopefully, as I mentioned in the morning, like uh, the uh, downside seems to be in place. I, the, another uh, downside uh, uh, could be there for an opportunity to go long. So we are waiting for 2355 five to hit. Uh, you can take a trade uh, with the closing stop loss at 2358 or uh, you can uh, take a trade with 2350 on intraday basis. Uh, we most likely we hope that next week will be the continuation of the upside rather than going down so we are waiting for the uh, just the time correction to be completed uh, on monday so most likely i believe that uh, we will continue on the upside uh, uh, as we noted on the patterns that we were looking out for so most likely in the next two weeks 2520 is the target that will be opened up we are either waiting for 2355 to take an entry or uh, we are waiting for 2384 uh, to be broken out on the upside uh, closing basis so that we can enter long. So either side, we are waiting for an opportunity to get into uh, on the long side. And uh, if you are a risky trader, you can even try for this last leg on the downside, which is like enter at uh, 2378, uh, keep a stop loss at 2384. That is a short side uh, trade that is open uh, for the day, considering the fact that the underlying trend is uh, bearish. So we have given both the sides opportunities. Uh, uh, you can trade a trade accordingly. And uh, we believe that the next um, half, uh, half a day session will be very volatile, considering that there are uh, some data coming up. So uh, take a trade, uh, be very careful, and uh, do not miss the next uh, main trend uh, which will be active uh, next week. So that is more important. Uh, whatever has happened this week, it's like a passive trades that we have seen. Uh, it's the most kind of um, sideways market that we have seen. Next week, we hope uh, to see a rally on the upside. Let's see how this will uh, plays out. And uh, we'll take a trade accordingly. Thank you so much for watching. Let's hope that next week will be more uh, fruitful and uh, we'll connect on Monday, looking at how the scenario has changed. Thank you so much for this particular week and uh, let's hope for a better week next week. Thank you.